Hey guys, what's up? Here's my review of Attack on Titan episode 18, I believe. Uh, I want to check that before I do this video, but anyways, um, while I'm doing that, make sure to check out my previous Hunter Hunter review. Check out some of my previous videos. I have a Naruto theory up. I have a few video game reviews up. I have some discussions about anime and manga and video games. So, yeah. Um, this is Attack on Titan episode 18. Alright, cool. Um... So in this episode, I'm just going to call the female Titan Annie, because I, I think the female Titan is Annie. That's the theory I'm throwing out there. And, um, you know, she's going around killing people. But I think we started off at Jean's perspective, or Jean's group. And I'm like, I, I think it sounds better to say Jean's group instead of Armin's group. <laughs> so, they're basically, they basically, you know, they're patching up Armin, and they have to decide, oh yeah, notice. Notice, Rainer has no injuries, and Rainer was killed in the last episode. So, uh, uh, think about that. Just think about that. Um, Armin, you know, you know, they're patching him up and they're deciding like they have to leave someone behind, and there's this whole thing. And basically, Armin volunteers to stay behind. They don't have enough horses because Jean's horse won't come back for some reason. And I believe, I don't even know this girl's name. She's a blonde character. She's like always seen with this, this brown head character. Like there are two characters. No, there's like two or three characters in their class that aren't highlighted at all. And like they're just coming into, uh, they're just being shown a little bit more now. Because you know Marco was a little, he was always around when Gene was around a little bit. And, you know, Marco's dead. <laughs> uh... And I think the main ones are kind of, you know, like, we have Aaron, Armin, Mikasa, Jean, Rainer, Annie, K uh, Connie, Sasha, I think that's it. Those are like the main, main ones in the group, I feel. Uh, I'm not missing anyone, am I? Well, who cares, whatever. So, uh, where to leave off? Yeah, they're deciding who they're going to get rid of. And, uh blonde haired girl comes in, she has their she has Jean's horse and then like Rainer is infatuated with her. She just seems like one of those girls who's like really kind and then you know like people fall for kindness. Um I really don't remember that much about this episode but I wanted to review it. So we had like we had we went back to Aaron's perspective which I think I thought we weren't gonna do that because I thought we were just gonna stay away. But um you know they're going into the forest, which is weird. Uh, I think that's like the basic gist of it. They're going into the forest, and then you have Jean and the rest of them waiting outside of the forest for any titans. But uh, let me just go back for a second. So they get a signal. This is Armin's group. They get a signal, and the signal is to continue the operation. But it was either Rain. I think Rainer said with their status now they can decide whether they want to continue this mission or not like they can decide whether it's a failure or not and then Armin's kind of wondering what Captain Irwin is thinking like what's up with this guy what does he know and the basic theory or I think the I think if they confirm this in the episode I'm not sure uh, female Titan they want to get her in the forest and they want to kill her but it's crazy what happens. So, Gene and all the other guys, they're waiting outside of this forest area. And the forest is pretty cool because they can use the trees to fly and stuff. And in the uh, in the previous episodes, they were on flat ground. They were on a horse. So, the only thing they could do was stand up on the horse, um, shoot their 3D maneuver gear on the Titan and try to kill it. But Annie was always covering her neck. And I'm just saying, it has to be Annie. Look at the fighting stance. Look at the the face. Look at the eyes. I, I don't, I'm not sure if her hair was short or not, but look at the hair. Her hair is blonde. It has to be Annie. So, yeah. Trees, very good for 3D maneuver gear. So, you have everyone waiting outside, and then I don't understand, like, why they didn't kill any Titans. Like, I saw one Titan coming. They didn't kill it. And then there's, like, 20 or 10 or whatever. A lot. There's a lot out there. And they, they haven't done anything. They're just standing there. 
So I, I don't understand. They were supposed to keep the Titans from going into the forest, I think. So they haven't done that. But, eh. We pretty much end the episode off on Aaron's perspective. Aaron, Levi, and those other guys. I don't even know their names. Um, they're being chased by the female Titan. And then, like, you have some guys trying to stop the female Titan. She squashes one guy. She's just killing them ruthlessly. And she's really fast. And I'm just wondering throughout this entire scene, like, Aaron, you have to go Titan. You you have to turn this to the Titan. I like I like Go Titan. I've heard that in a review. I think it was in King of Lightning's review. Go Titan. I like that. And um, I'm just like, Aaron, go Titan already. And I was wondering what's going on. Levi, he's not giving them any orders, and everyone's yelling at Levi. I'm like, gosh, just do something. You're like the Survey Corpse. You can kill this Titan. Probably not. I don't know. Because the Titan has intelligence. And I don't think anyone's ever killed a Titan with intelligence. And the only way they can handle this Titan is Aaron turns to a Titan. So, Levi finally gives an order. And he's like, cover your ears. I'm like, whoa. What's about, what's about to happen? I'm like, are they going to use some kind of um, sound technique or something? Or maybe um, they're going to distract the Titan and someone's going to come out and kill it. Um, but he pulls out a gun, and I'm wondering, I'm pretty sure it's a signal gun, but I don't know, it could have something special in it just in case to take out the Titan, maybe it'll blow her face off, but I don't know, this is Annie, Annie's like a main character, but then again, she killed all those Qans, so, I, I feel bad, I feel like there's a killer, uh, um, but other than that, the, the episode just kind of ends, and I really love Hunter 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 and Attack on Titan. I, I wasn't gonna say Hunter Hunter. I don't know how that came out, but I really do love Hunter Hunter and Attack on Titan. But Attack, on, Attack on Titan is really good, and I'm I'm I really want to pick up the manga. I think they're they might still be on this arc in the manga. I'm not sure, cause I, I saw a pay, they they came out with a chapter on manga stream, and I had to peek on there. I had to peek, and then it looked like they're on the same arc, but the review was kind of dragging on. Uh. Pretty good episode of Attack on Titan. Not as good as last week, but it was still a good episode. And I'm excited to see more. And we have like seven episodes left, so eventually I'm going to pick up the manga. But I, I want to pick up the manga right now. It's just that good. But I want to keep the excitement level each week. So I'm, I'm going to just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. So anyways, guys, thank you, for wa thank you for watching Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'm sorry I'm missing up a lot in this video, but whatever. Um, school starts tomorrow. Last video... And then we'll see where I go from there. Bye.